Fairy Tale Doctor. Written, illustrated, and narrated by Summer Bird. Mama Monkey called the Fairy Tale Doctor. My little monkey fell off the bed, she said. Again? the doctor asked. Yes, again, Mama Monkey said. How many bumped heads this time? the doctor asked. Just the one, Mama Monkey said. Are the others still jumping on the bed? The doctor asked. Well, yes, Mama Monkey said. Why? Because if they keep jumping on the bed, another one will fall down and bump his head, the doctor said. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. I'll be over soon. Of course, doctor, Mama Monkey said. We'll see you soon. The doctor finished bandaging Jack's head. There you go, he said. You and your sister need to be more careful when you climb up the hill. Perhaps shoes with better traction would help. Okay, thank you, doctor, Jack said. The doctor packed up his bag and drove to the monkey house. He knocked on the door. When Mama Monkey answered it, he could hear shrieks of laughter coming from the back room. They're still jumping on the bed, aren't they? The doctor asked. Maybe, Mama Monkey said. I've been too busy worrying about my little injured monkey to check. He's here on the couch. The doctor looked over at the little monkey, who was smiling and eating a large piece of banana cake. Does your head still hurt? the doctor asked. Not really, the monkey said. Well, I'll check your eyes and such, just to be sure, the doctor said. But the little monkey looked fine. No more monkeys jumping on the bed, he said again. Of course not, doctor, Mama Monkey said. When the doctor got back to the car, he got another call. Doctor, come quick, one of the castle knights said. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. We can't fix him. Even the horses don't know what to do. You let the horses treat injuries? That's ridiculous, the doctor said. They don't even have thumbs. Well, we didn't know what else to do, the knight said. Are you coming? I'm on my way, the doctor said. He drove to the castle. Cinderella and Rapunzel were peeking over the balcony. Humpty was in pieces in the courtyard. The knights were attempting to put him back together with bandages and tape. The horses were flicking him with their tails. Everyone stand back, the doctor said. He pulled out his stitches kit. He'd need to use both stitches and surgical glue to fix this. Some time later, as he was putting in the last few stitches, his phone rang. Hello? he said. Hello? This is Mama Monkey. One of my little monkeys has fallen and bumped his head, Mama Monkey said. Again? the doctor asked. Yes, again, Mama Monkey said. Were they jumping on the bed? the doctor asked. Maybe, Mama Monkey said. How many bumped heads? the doctor asked. Just the one, she said. Are you coming? Yes, the doctor said. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Of course, doctor, Mama Monkey said. The doctor finished treating Humpty and gave the knights instructions for further care. I'll come back and check on him tomorrow, he said. Tell him to find a safer place to sit and think. Then he drove to the monkey house and treated another happy little monkey who was eating banana cake while his mother fussed over him. Next, he had an appointment to visit little boy Blue, who kept falling asleep at work. I think we may need to do a sleep study, the doctor said. Everything else looks fine. I'll make an appointment at the clinic. Thank you, little boy Blue said. He yawned. I'm just always so sleepy. He visited Jack again. Jack had managed to burn his leg while jumping over candlesticks. Jack, I think you may be accident-prone. Don't play around fire, the doctor said. Okay, Jack said. I got new shoes, just like you said. Do you like them? Jack, those are rain boots. They have even less traction than your old shoes. Get hiking boots or something like that, the doctor said. Oh, okay. Jack said. And then, once again, Mama Monkey called. Doctor, she said. 
one of my little monkeys fell down and bumped his head. Again? the doctor asked. Yes, again, she said. 